Hi, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a removable attachment for your bike to make it electric powered. And you can see the test to see how it works at the end. To start the build off, I measure on a 1.5 by 3 piece of wood and cut out two small pieces and glue them together. After I glue them, I put a screw in them just to help hold it. Now I'm going to drill a hole. This is going to be the part that the seat of the bike slides through. Once I drill it, I have to wiggle the drill bit side to side just to make the hole a little wider. And then the seat fits through perfectly. Now I'm going to attach a hinge on the back. Next, I want to build the base that the motor assembly is going to be mounted on. For this, I cut out a thick piece of plywood. Now I want to cut out the middle as well, so I'll drill a few holes so I can cut the middle out. Once I'm done that, I'll attach this piece that I just made onto the hinges. Now I'm going to start working with the motor. I'm going to attach a wheel onto the motor. For this, I cut out a few pieces of a clothes hanger and flatten the end. Now I drill a hole in the motor. As you can see, I already put two pieces in, and I drill the corresponding holes in the wheels. Now as you can see, the wheel fits right over the motor's holes and then I push the other two pieces in and hammer them into place, the two flat ones. Now I just glue it all so nothing moves around. Next I'm going to build something to hold the motor in place. Now I'm going to drill some holes so I can slide pipe clamps around the motor. I grab the pipe clamps and slide them around the area where the motor will be. Now I can slide the motor into its position. tighten down the pipe clamps. Now you can see how it fits right on top of the bicycle. Now I need to attach something to hold the battery in place so it doesn't slide around. And as you can see the batteries fit perfectly. The batteries I used were actually too big um, they had an excess of amperage, so you could use something about half the size. And I wired up the two batteries in series with each other, and a normal house switch in between. Now I drill a hole so our motor assembly doesn't rotate, and stick something through it. I end up drilling a bigger one later. Now you can see the test, and when I turn the switch it goes backwards. So I reverse the wiring, and then when I flip the switch, it now travels forwards. And then I stick something a little bigger through the hole, in a little bigger hole so it doesn't move around. And when I lift it off the ground, you can see it spins. Now here's a quick test. Fast forward it to four times. Now one last change I did was I made a wheel on a lathe. And this has a little bit of a lip so it doesn't slide around. And attach that onto the motor. Either one worked though. Now here's the final test. 
It takes a while to start up, it would be much quicker if I pedaled as well, which I can do, but I tried not to pedal much just so you can see how much it powers itself. Going up the hills is a little slow because the motor isn't the most powerful, but um, it's easy to just pedal along with it because the motor's doing most of the work anyways. And of course you can go a lot faster if you pedal as well, and it'll also be easier to pedal because the motor's doing a lot of work for you. But I try not to pedal too much. Thanks for watching to the end of my video. Feel free to like and subscribe and check out ways to support me to help me make more cool and better videos like this one. To see my other projects and buy parts you might need, you can check out my channel or my website joshbuilds.com. You can also follow me on my social networks to keep updated with my new content. Thanks.